Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you how I blow out my hair with the Revlon blow dryer. I know there's a lot of talk about Revlon versus Dyson. Everyone wants the Dyson, but us broke girlies gotta use this. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do with what I have. I still like it. I know a lot of people say that it's damaged their hair and I've heard some people say that the Dyson damage their hair I don't know I've been using this one for over a year and I really like it I've started using it more often lately but I still have noticed that it hasn't done any harm to my hair I just think you need to follow some certain steps like not using it when your hair is too wet so it doesn't pull thermal protection which I will get into on that I also just want to quickly say that I'm not a hairdresser I'm not an expert on hair I'm just showing you guys how I use this and hopes to help you if you have one and you want to learn a different way to use it i don't know if this is like a common way to use it but this is just how i figured out i like the little wave rather than just making it straighter but yeah i'm not going to tell you that my way is better than someone else's that my products are better this is just how i like to use it and yeah i really hope that you guys are going to like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my socials and let's get into it so I just got out of the shower and I'm going to show you guys what I do to my hair after I wash it. So first I'm going to take my whey leave-in conditioner and I also use whey shampoo and conditioner. I use the detox shampoo and then the thin hair or the fine hair conditioner. So I'm just going to spray this everywhere for some extra moisture and it smells really good too. And then I'm gonna take my wet brush, which I just got at like a drugstore, and obviously brush through my hair. And I do use like a wide tooth comb in the shower most of the time, but today I did forget. But I'm also gonna take my like little comb and take this part and fix my part, which I end up fixing it again after I blow out my hair, but just to have an idea. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna take the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. And this is a really great product. It's good for, let's see, strengthening, nourishing, and moisturizing. And then it also speeds up um, blow drying time and reduces frizz. So I'm just gonna take like a dime size. I'm gonna take about that much and just rub it through my hair. I always try to make sure to get it on my ends because those are the most damaged. My hair still isn't dry enough for the Revlon, so I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll start blow drying. Okay, so my hair is now like 70, 80% dry, which I think is a really good spot to use the Revlon. And I've also heard a lot of people say that. I definitely wouldn't use it when your hair is wet because that's when it really pulls your hair. And I was also going to say that right now I don't have a good heat protectant for wet hair because like mine's kind of powdery and I don't want to put that on wet hair. So if you do have a good recommendation of heat protectant that can go on wet hair, please let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and part my hair into, I'm going to do three sections. So I'm going to put like two thirds of my hair up. And I'm just using this clip. Okay, and then I'm going to brush out the bottom section or like the section that I'm working on at the time. Okay, so I wanna show you my technique, but I obviously can't do it while this is on, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. So I'm gonna do it a couple of times and then I'll talk about how I do it and like what strategy I use.
So as you saw, I spent like some time just like curling it out and giving it a small wave and like smoothing it and really getting up to my root so that it will dry up there. And then as you saw, I will take the strand and so I'll try to gather all the hair in the Revlon and then twist it around itself to create that spiral. And also if you could probably tell, I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, but I always start with the front pieces because those are usually the ones that are the driest and so I go with the driest piece so it doesn't dry like not smooth if that makes sense. The first section is done so I'm just gonna not touch the curls. Hairspray it a little bit. I'm using the Garnier Fructis. I honestly no idea how to say that still. Fructis? No idea. I'm using the Extra Stronghold number three and I like this one because it's not sticky so I'm just going to spray it a little bit. Then for the second, sorry, someone was walking past my room. For the second section, I'm just going to take half of, okay, so like I would usually take all around but I'm just gonna do half of it for now because I don't want the wet hair to just sit on the dry side of my head when I'm not just like using the hair at the moment because it'll like mess up the smoothness of the bottom you know what I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist so it makes sense in my head <laughs> if it doesn't in yours go ahead and just put the whole hair down so once again I'm brushing out the new section because it gets tangled up there and I'm gonna start with the front piece because it's the driest one The second section is done and hairsprayed. And then on to the final one, thankfully. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my part again. And then this part, I just leave all my hair down because there's so little left to do. And I'm gonna brush it all out. So the only difference on this piece is I'm gonna take the front sections, like my long layers, and curl them this way. Okay, so ideally if you had a hot roller, you could roll this up and let it cool, but I do not and I don't wanna like make a kink in my hair by putting a bobby pin. So I'm just gonna leave it and it'll not be as crazy in a few minutes. It looks like madness right now, but this is one thing where you just have to trust the process. So I'm letting it cool off since I just literally put the wand down for like a minute or two and then I'm gonna hairspray it. I always get so nervous brushing it out because if like it doesn't turn out right, I get really upset because I spent so much time. So I'm just gonna brush it. Okay, this side is good. Also, sometimes they're, the sides aren't even, which makes zero sense to me because I do the exact same thing, but oh well. I told you, you trust the process, right? And sometimes my part is messed up, so I'll move some pieces over if there's like a bump. Okay, so that's it all brushed out. I'm going to take the Gisu hair oil and just put a little bit because this stuff is pretty oily like just barely cover your hands I don't know if you can see that and lightly run it through my hair just to get rid of any frizz that didn't go away and that is it that is the final product all right and that is it thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos today if you have any suggestions for other videos or tutorials you want to see, please leave suggestions in the comments. If you don't already, go follow my TikTok and my Instagram and we can be friends on there. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!